Hi everybody. It's probably no surprise to you that we're back with another Timu haul. This is actually my sponsored Timu haul in which I chose to go after craft items because as you can see from my craft period over here, I love to craft and that thing's full of crafts that we're gonna be doing here in the next few weeks. Uh, if you're also wondering, I used Timu products on my hair last night. I have on Timu glasses so I can see. <laughs> and this is a Timu little mini dress. I'm going to use it as a tunic with the uh, leggings. But if you've never heard of Timu, Timu is actually an online marketplace. Much like many of the other online marketplaces, you can either access it on a website or an app. Um, it has the best prices. You can go and take pictures of things on other marketplaces, put it in the search bar of Timu and find your items for so much less money. And that makes me so happy. So I love Timu. If you've never ever shopped at Timu, right here is an address. And then following it is a code. If you go and you download Timu, if you've never shopped there before and you use this code, you can get 30% off your entire first order. If you've shopped before, you'll still get a $100 coupon bundle, and that's nothing to laugh at, y'all. So let's get started with this haul. Oh, yes, and these are Timu fingernails and Timu rings. Moist and rings. Moist and rings. Timu is really an awesome place. I'm very happy with Timu. This is my third sponsored haul, and thank you so much, Timu, for working with you, girl. Y'all know that I love to craft and, and find weird things and look at the health and wellness items on Timu, and it's such a great place. So let's drag the first thing out here and see what we've got. This is basically craft items that are going to, craft items that are gonna help me craft for the next several weeks while winter finally sets in and gets over. Um, I'm so ready for spring, everybody. I'm so ready for spring. If anyone else is ready for spring, let me know. Okay, so I do a lot of Mod Podge and other types of um, lacquering. So I got one of these little, it's like a little spatula for glue so that you can keep your glue at an even consistency, push it out, not ruin a paintbrush, and wash it and you're ready to go again. Super cheap and don't worry, all the product links, um, Pictures will be after me speaking and then all the product links will be in the description so that if you want to go and purchase these things, you can go and find them as well. This is the perfect size for my hand. It's big enough even with my disorder, I can hang on to it. It's got this nice little bumper so that your fingers don't go past it into the glue. I love that. It also gives you a nice base to kind of tip it on the jar when you're using. This is going to be so nice when I'm doing my decoupage or I'm doing my lacquer over the tops of my wood rounds. This is going to come in very happy. Uh, very happily useful. It's also going to come in very useful probably when I do resin work and I'm trying to hold the resin in a certain place until it cures and then I can move. I think this will come in very handy at, at that as well. This is really a multi-use item and go into other stores and, and you look at these and you're gonna buy them for three to five dollars. Just wait until you see the price that I gave for this. You're gonna love it. Okay, let's see what's next in the bag. Oh, they have such beautiful embroidery and applique options on Timu. You can find so many talented craftsmen's work. Um, you can find so many delicate machinery made things. Um, and, and you can still find a lot of handmade items though. Let's see if we can find where this bag opens and closes at because I am about blind. Timu, thank you for helping me see. I really do appreciate it. You're at $1.76 with price reduction, 76 cent glasses are better than my uh, my eyeglasses from my eye doctor. They cost way more. All right, let's go into, this is going to be, oh, this is gonna be gorgeous. This is a beaded embroidery patch. Let me get it all out. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Look at this, it's got flowers with tendrils and look at, oh my goodness, look at this. So a lot of people would put them on clothes. No, oh, that's not me, I'm weird, y'all. I use these on dream catchers to make themes for dream catchers. And I'm fixing to do a peacock themed dream catcher, a big one. This is going to be part of the pretty pretty. It's gonna go over the weave. And oh, it's gonna be so pretty. I'm just gonna go over the weave and then I'm gonna add some other stuff you'll see in just a minute. These are such good quality. I have I have purchased on my own probably 10 or 12 of these and made 
so many things. I've made dream catchers. I have embellished some artwork. Um, I have embellished a blanket. <laughs> I have embellished a pair of boots, of, uh, of uh, soft leather fur-like boots. These things can be sewn onto anything. If you know how to do just a, a basic stitch, you can attach them. You can also use the spray um, fabric glue if you're having problems, but I always say, learn to do a little whip stitch, y'all. It's not, it's not the end of your life. But these are so gorgeous, and I get so many compliments on the things that I place them on and how I, I sometimes I'll cut them apart and use them, you know, in different aspects than, than just a cluster of flower tendrils. So these are amazing. The quality in them is amazing. The stonework in them is amazing. The sequin is, I, and I've never had any of them tear or rip or fall apart on me. And I still get emails and pictures from people that have artwork with these in them and they're like, I still have not found anyone that's been able to, to do artwork with these in them. So Timu, thank you for helping me find something that made me completely, absolutely stand out with my artwork. I really appreciate that. I like to do strange things. <laughs> I do a lot of native art uh, because I am uh, Scots Irish and Cherokee. So I do a lot of native art. Okay. Now one thing when you do art, especially when you do any kind of calligraphy or handwritten signage, um, you need a lot of white paint markers, acrylic markers. And if you go to a brick and mortar store, you're gonna spend upwards of $1.96 to $4.98 for one individual marker. Um, I have found these white Marison, M-E-R-I-S-E-N pens on Timu. I really like them. I like the point. It's just thick enough to where it's great for coverage, but it's fine enough that it's great for writing as well. I really love these. I got two. I love them so much. I got two. Um, and you can get them, I believe, with different points, um, but I just, I love them. I love them. And they're so easy. Um, they're in the, the sponges, if you get a little bit of another color on them, they're really easy to clean the tips of the acrylic pen. I have purchased, I don't know how many of these on my own. Thank you, Timmy, for sponsoring this haul and letting me choose some of these things that I love the most. These Marison pens are amazing. They come in other colors, but I desperately needed the white because I have two or three packs of Timu's other acrylic pens in my craft curio here, so. I'm a little bit of an acrylic pen snob, but that's okay, it's okay. Now, all of these items, I think I got, I think I picked out 15 items in, in total. Got them all for just under $31. So that's pretty doggone amazing. Now, everything that I make, because it's homemade, I like to sneak a little, little a, a little homemade love into it. We'll just say that. Um, so I buy these little packs of hearts. And some of them actually say handmade or homemade with love. These were just plain. And I thought, oh, I could sneak these in on much more since they don't have the writing on them. So I got this little bag of homemade hearts. It is going to go on my artwork. They're so cute. Some are different sizes, some are bigger, some are smaller. They're, they are actual wood, they are very sturdy, uh, they take glue well, and some are so tiny. Like, let me show you this one. Some are so tiny, do you see that little tiny one right there? Some are so tiny. And I love these. It, this is kind of, um, if you're a native woman and you bead, you always put one odd bead in your work. If, uh, for me, since I don't do the beading, I try to always put one odd um, item somewhere. And so for me, it's normally little hearts. Um, this was such a great value. I love all the sizes. And they're actually real wood and they're really well made. And they're so perfect. I love these. So, I'm gonna be sneaking in some more of my little homemade love stuff. You know, that's, that's how I remind people these are my pieces of work. That's kind of my telltale sign. I got the most beautiful rolls of ribbon. Look at this nude sheer ribbon. These hang and they have the rough edges and these are so pretty to drape off of dream catchers and mix them with other feathers, um, leather strips, um, sequins, glitters, rhinestones, and they just are so beautiful. And if you use these on art, and crafts and use lights, you can still see the lights through them. So, I mean, these are just beautiful and the, literally the older they get, the prettier they get. So I get all, a lot of these because they are just so useful in so many ways. 
um, they take up a lot of space and they add a color, but they also add a very art artistic sheer quality to your art to where you can layer through them with other colors and light. I love these. I love the pens that they send with them. I have a pen cushion full of nothing but Timo pens. They're always such nice pens. These are great. And I think I got, I think I might have got a few colors in those. Let me see. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just picked the one. <laughs> Never know what I'm going to stop for. Okay, so as I am hot gluing and making my crafts lots of times, I am struggling with cords and having a cord try to pull an, a heat gun or a glue gun off of my table. So I got a package of one, two, three, four, five cord holders that are sticky. I can stick them on the edge of my craft table and put my cords in them. And ta-da, nothing else will try to pull off the table. <laughs> and so all I do is just pull the cord up through to make sure that I've got the cord that I need up top. But you can also put these uh, where you charge things. Um, and I'm, you could have, you could use them for other purposes too. I'm thinking you could stick them on a mirror in a bathroom and put makeup brushes in them. You know those fine ones you use for your eyeballs? Yeah, your eyeballs, your eyes. Listen, I do makeup, it's just not well. This was a great deal. They, they came in a pack of five. This is gonna be every craft plug up item I use, I'm gonna be able to now have it not to be pulled away from me by a heavy cord or an extension cord. This is great. Lifesavers. I'm not gonna burn myself with my heat gun or glue gun anymore. Thank you, Timu. Such a great, great item at such a great price. And once again, all the pictures and links will be at the end of the video and um, in the description. So you will be able to find these if you like them. Because you know, some crafters out there, they just see these things and they're like, oh, yeah, I need that too. This is gorgeous. I haven't quite decided where I'm going to use this one yet. I've got a few art projects lined up for the winter, but I, this one is so pretty, it deserves to be the spotlight. This is another embroidered sequined netted piece of work. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? That's so beautiful. I'm just here to tell you, these are so beautiful. This one's beaded and sequined. That They're so gorgeous, everyone, they're so gorgeous. And if you do a lot of artwork that is mixed media or fabric and beading and, um, you know, I, my dream catchers, you know, I like to put a lot of depth into them. So I will use some of these around the edges of the dream catchers to bring in the light and everything like that. So I make some that are purely native dream catchers and I make some that are my girly sparkly. And I have to say people really like them. So this is one that's, it's going to be, it's going to have to have a special one for itself because this is beautiful. I mean, this is just absolutely beautiful. And the attention to detail, even down to the points, is so amazing. And then they leave you enough netting to where you can work with it and sew and then cut away what you don't need. The, the attention to detail uh, just amazes me. And I have never seen such beautiful embroidered pieces until I went on Timu because these were always in categories that were too expensive for me on other marketing platforms. And so I couldn't even look at them to buy them. These are so affordable and they make everything so much more beautiful. Please go look, just type in embroidery or embroidered items or embroidered patches and Timu, you will be amazed at the artwork that comes up. And they're so affordable. This one is gorgeous. This one will have a special, a special craft item all to itself. That's just a beautiful piece of work. I love teaming, y'all. I love teaming. Okay, now when I make my jewelry, there's one thing I don't like. <laughs> I don't like jump rings. Jump rings irritate, I just, they irritate me to death. Jump rings are my nemesis when it comes to making jewelry because I have a neural muscular disorder and it's, it's difficult to open and close them. So normally I have to elicit my husband's help, but not anymore because I got one of these, well, I got three of these actually, came in a pack of three. You put your jump ring in there and you just have to use one thing to open it and then close it and you're not trying to grab onto it with all your hands and extra pliers and oh my gosh, how awesome is this? I wear thimbles and stuff all the time anyway, so it's natural for me to have something on my hand like that. This came in a pack of three, and if you do jewelry work and you have not found these, buy them. <laughs> buy them now, because they slide onto your fingers and they really do make jump rings. Jump rings no longer, you know, something that makes you want to say wordy turns. <laughs> jump rings are like um, the kryptonite to my 
craft projects. I love to do jewelry, but jump rings just irritate me to death. Thank you, Timu, for making jump rings something that I don't fear anymore. I mean, jump rings, y'all, jump rings. If you've done a lot of jewelry, jump rings are just like, mm -mm. not here for that. Just, I like to make a lot of necklaces, but I like to use leather cordage. And I have found out that Timu has lots of really nice leather cordage. And this particular type knots really well to make the sliding knots. And look at, oh, I think this was so cheap. And I mean, if I were to count the yardage on this, oh, let's just count the yardage on this that my granny taught me. Hang on, let me get it all laid out. I, I'm, anybody that doesn't know how to count yardage, I'm fixing to tell you the cheapest way and the easiest way to count yardage because everybody's arm is about the same length, unless you're like abnormally put together. Okay, you grab the end, you hold it to your nose, you go one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, a little over six yards. A little over six yards of this wonderful leather cordage. And it, it ties really well, it holds the knots really well. It's easy to put pendants on. It's the it's a really good size for men who like a larger, more bold necklace. Um, and for women that like larger pieces as well. But I have used this several times in different, several different sizes for arts. Um, from borders for projects to necklaces to bracelets to braiding it for um, borders on pictures and canvases. Great buy. Do you know how much this costs if you go shopping elsewhere for it? Like I have, I'm lucky that I have a, a leather shop in my area, um, but this stuff is super expensive. So Timu, thank you. I appreciate it. It also smells really nice, <laughs> but I like leather shops, so that's probably why. <laughs> The leather cordage and they have all types, shapes, sizes, raw edges, and, and else. They they have so many. Okay, so I do have a ton of acrylic paint pens, but there was something that I didn't have. And it was, uh, I've been using a lot of a certain item that you rub and buff onto things that makes them look aged or bronzed or antiqued. And it's very expensive for a very tiny, like little mini, toothpaste tube. I found something just like it on Timu. This is like a second purchase for me. <laughs> but I wanted it again so I got it in this sponsored haul. Thank you again Timu. I appreciate you so much. This is taking the place of my other stuff that I would rub on and buff on the gold or the bronze to age something. This works just as well. Now I think it's probably got a seal in the, if I remember correctly, it's got a seal in the middle. So let's see if I can get the seal off. But if I can't, basically I can tell you it's the same consistency and it does the same job. Oh, here we go. It's the same consistency. There it is on the top of the package. And it does the same job as what you pay, oh, about 10 to $12 for in other marketplaces. Uh, so, you know, yeah, why am I loyal to Timu? I'm loyal to Timu because Timu is loyal to me with these prices. I can craft, and literally, if you look at my craft curio, this is the most winter crafts I've ever had crammed in this thing. This is where I put all my products for winter, and we're still going strong. And it's because I could literally buy five times as much with Timu's prices. And this is an excellent dupe. Ladies, look how big this is. Do you know how tiny those tubes that I'm talking about are? Look how big this is. This is gonna be with you for a long time. And the price, amazing. Hang out for the pictures and the product links will be in the description. We're gonna, we only got a few more things. You know, I like that one size of leather so well that I said, you know something? That's gonna be for like the big men. But I'm gonna have to have some smaller leather for some of my smaller art projects to where I need to uh, have a little bit more of a daintier approach um, or I need to, you know, possibly do some gathering knots or something in some, you know, on some smaller items. And I found this, which is just like that, only a smaller size. And it's, it smells like a leather shawl. <laughs> I like the smell of leather shawl. It almost matches my hair perfectly. I mean, it's, it's almost there, y'all. Uh, they have the most wonderful. These are great for also for the necklaces with the sliding knots. These tie very well. They hold the knot very well. Um, they age very well as you wear them. And um, 
I've never had anyone come back and tell me they didn't like this. I've actually had people that still has necklaces and bracelets that I've gifted them and they're like still going strong, still doing great. And these were things that I gave like last fall, last summer or fall. So I will say that these are good quality for the crafting options. If you don't have a leather short or the leather short is, you know, is so expensive, Timu has got you covered for your leather craft needs. I'm, I'm really tickled with the prices I got on those. Um, I, I'm just amazed at how much I was able to get for $30, so. And if anyone has ever met me, you know that I do a lot of sewing, so I have a lot of needles. And one of my best friends bought me a very beautiful wooden needle box for Christmas. And it holds a lot of my larger needles that I use for more of my fur work and stuff like that when I'm sewing through thicker things. But then I saw this one too and I thought this could hold my smaller needles and it actually comes full of needles. And if I'm not, yeah, it's, yep, it's full. It comes full of needles. Look at all those needles that are in there. So let me see if I can get one out. It comes with a screw on head. This is a needle safe so that you don't put your needles anywhere that, you know, you, you don't want to sit down and find a needle. So these are pretty much just like normal sewing needles. And these are the ones that I don't like to get mixed up with my longer, thicker needles. So I got me a container for my little needles since I have now a container for my bigger needles that I got as a Christmas present from a really great friend. So now I have this little, little needle holder. This is something that literally if you go into the seamstress aisle at um, any of the big name brand stores, you wouldn't think it would be that expensive, but with the needles in it, you're looking at probably five to eight dollars at least. And uh, just wait till you see the picture of the product display come through. You're gonna know why I love Timu so much. These are so great. The needle strength and quality is amazing. Amazing. I sew some really difficult items to sew and they do great. So let me tell you, the needle strength and quality of the metal is amazing. Oh, this is something that I can't take out of the bag to show you, but they actually have real turquoise that is broken down and tumbled into little slice beads. I'm not going to take these out of this bag because I'll never get them back in there. But these are so great to craft with. Since I do a lot of native art, I do a lot of turquoise beading. These are like little, um, they look like little uh, tires stacked up. They're, they're sliced and kind of a square donut shape. And they stack really well on necklaces and bracelets. They're wonderful for beading. They're wonderful accents on dream catchers. And the color really pops. And if you know how much real turquoise costs, what a deal, what a deal. And this will do me for quite a while because there's a lot in there, they go a long way. I'm very tickled with the price I get for this because the beads uh, that I buy a lot, I, it's hard to find certain ones. And I've been able to find almost every type of bead I've wanted on Timu, and I've been able to find a real raw form bead and um, a man-made version, but I always go for the raw. Uh, so these are great little additions to jewelry. I can't say I can't say enough about the beads and the gems and the stones on Timu. Just make sure you know that you get either the man-made or the real, whichever one you need for your specific purpose. I just try to get the real raw ones. Um, you won't believe the price on these. Wait till you see the photos. When you all see the photos, you're gonna die. You're gonna be like, you got all of that for that price? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, so I told you that the, the one color embroidery patch was going to be a dream catcher, but I didn't tell you exactly what kind of dream catcher it was going to be. The type of dream catcher it is going to be is a peacock dream catcher. I'm gonna make a peacock dream catcher, and I actually have peacock uh, tail feathers to adorn the bottom with. But I want to use um, these to accent the beadwork and the weave itself. I really want to use these to accent the, the weave and the beadwork itself. These are peacock beads. Look at this. Look at the dimension in that, y'all. I'm putting it right over my face so maybe you can see better. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, I've been crafting. My hands are eat to bits. I'm sorry. I did put on nails so I wouldn't look super horrible. Look at the beauty in those. And these are the darker blue, but they have them in lots of other colors. You get a good amount in every one, and they've got a nice solid back plating for your E6000 or any other way that you're gonna affix them 
um, to your artwork. I think they had white, they had cream, they had three or four other colors of those peacock uh, gems. And actually, after the sponsored craft haul, I went back and did another purchase and bought different colors. But once again, thank you, Timu. I appreciate you so much. Um, I'm disabled and I'm at home and I love to craft, but it is such a burden for my husband to always buy what I need to craft. And this opportunity from Timu to get items and, and craft just to tell you what I think about them. It's been so helpful. It's been so helpful. And literally, like 99.9% .9 of things I get, I love. So here are some more of the embroidery. The sequined. And these are made to look like flowers. And they're actually, look at that. So there's a lot of depth. There's a lot of depth in these products and it brings so much depth to your artwork and it makes people really gravitate toward it and love it. And if you give somebody something like this that has got this adorned on it somewhere, they're going to, I mean, they're going to love it. Um, so all of these are probably going to make a huge, gigantic peacock dream catcher. Probably, I've probably got enough here to make two to three, actually. Um, and when I get them done, I'll do a short and show you how I used all of these products to make the peacock dream catcher. This is such a beautiful color. It looks awesome against my hair, y'all. But these are so beautiful, and they're quite nice sized. And they actually have larger ones. That are, I've got, I bought one that was about three to four times as big and did a four foot wide dream catcher. It was four by two and a half in the shape of an eye. And um, that was an epic, epic craft moment for me. So if you craft, and if you're tired of crafting and saying, why, why, am, why am I spending so much for these smaller items? Why, why, why? Go to Timu, take a picture of whatever you need to buy and go and put it in the search bar in Timu and let Timu show you how to get something much cheaper that's the same quality that is just as beautiful and and be treated like a consumer again that somebody cares about that is what i would like to leave you with is my time with timu the customer service uh, the shipping how how many updates i get on my shipping i know where all my packages are i don't get that with certain other platforms but with Timu, I know exactly where my packages are, when they were shipped, uh, what is actually going to be in the package. And if they're late, I get like $5 if they're late. And I had a bad winter storm and I thought, well, surely with this winter storm, they won't give me the money because it was an act of nature. Oh no, they gave me the $5 on the packages that were late. I love Timu. They have great returns, great customer service. I mean, it's... <sighs> the easiest people I've ever talked to. Actually, I just chat with them and they're, they're amazing. They're amazing. I just chat with them. I've had every issue I've ever had resolved and they've been just very minor issues, let me tell you. I bought a basket a couple weeks ago and it came in smashed. And so it wasn't gonna hang right on the wall. And I just wanted to let them know that the shippers, the handlers were not you know handling these items carefully. I took a picture and they were like, oh no, here's your money back. And I was like, well, thank you, you know. And so I'm actually going to probably cannibalize that basket and try to use it for the parts that are still in shape for other things. But I thought that was so sweet of them. And then I purchased another, but I purchased one that had a stronger edging on it. So I'm hoping it gets here. But everything else gets here very easily. I've not had really any big issues. Um, the baskets been one thing that was warped. Um, I think I might've had a little mirror letters one of them break in shipping before, but really minor issues. And if I were to compare that to another platform that I shot from that's supposed to get stuff here in two days that takes seven, um, and half the time everything's broken the boxes because they're not packaged well, it's just, I don't know, for some reason, somehow this can get across the world to me better than something could get from another state to me. So I'm always telling people, no, don't worry about the shipping, it'll get to you. You'll know wherever it is, and if it doesn't come to you, they'll fix it. I had a box of mine end up in Texas in Christmas just because of the crazy shipping. They made it right in 32 seconds. So I'm wholeheartedly a Timu lover. I'm a Timu addict. They have made my craft game so much, so much more intricate, and I can't thank them enough. And because I am disabled and I'm home, this allows me to do something to get more items to craft with and just tell you all the truth of what I think about the items. And these are some of my favorite loves. These are things that I've bought before that I've 
thought, let's get in this craft haul. I know I'm gonna need them, and let's show people the amazing things they can get at Timu. So once again, if you've never tried Timu, you could try it now by just downloading it at this link right here. There will also be links and my code in the description, but my code is TAV61092. And I like to play Fishland and Farmland as well. I'll try to put those codes in the description as well in case you wanna play games with me as well. We can all help each other and, and get nice items. Um, but if you are a first time purchaser and you've not taken that leap yet, try it. You're gonna love it. And if you're a first time purchaser, use my link and my code to get 30% off your first order. You have to place it within one hour of downloading the app. So go to the website, browse, see what you like, get an idea, and then download the app, use my codes, and go get your 30% off. But even if you purchased hundreds and thousands of times from Timu, you can use my code to get a $100 coupon bundle. So just a little thank you from Timu for everybody that tunes into these hauls and likes to support the ladies and the men that are hauling Timu items. I actually like to watch the men that haul Timu items because I learn about things that I'm not necessarily seeing. I have yet to find all the corners of Timu. I will eventually, it is my determination to do so. <laughs> There's so many handy things. But this is my craft haul, sponsored completely by Timu. Thank you so much. I'm gonna make some beautiful things and when I do, we'll have some shorts to show you just exactly how they turned out. Everybody, go shop, have fun. Make it a Timu day. Bye guys. Now let's get ready for the product pictures and don't forget all the links are in the description. And as we close out this sponsored Timu haul, I'd like to say once again, thank you, Timu, for helping me craft. I appreciate you.